Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. Today I will show you some Visual Studio Code tips and shortcuts to help you be more productive in your web development tasks. Now before starting with the video, I just want to say that if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I make web development and designing videos. So let's get started. So first of all, if you haven't used Visual Studio Code, just go to the official website code.visualstudio.com and uh, download this. It is free, open source and uh, it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux. Here are all the features described over here. So just go ahead and download this. Now first I will show you how to open a project in Visual Studio Code. So here is my project with two files. Now if I right click over here, I can see that we have an option called open with code so you can open this with this explorer menu over here but uh, if you are on a terminal right now what you can do is simply type code and a dot and press enter now here we can see our project has been opened in visual studio code now i'm going to show you how to open your project and create some files as well so we'll just type code dot and here you have to type the names of the files that you want to create. So we'll create two files. One is the main.js file and uh, we'll also create a file called login.php. So now if I press enter. So here we can see we have our project opened and we have these two files created. And now it's just a matter of saving it to keep it in our project. So this is basically how you quickly open your project in Visual Studio Code. Now the next tip is quick file navigation. So we have this file browser over here. We can toggle it by pressing Ctrl B. This can be easy for uh, just four files over here. But if you have a large project and you have a lot of files, then it can be difficult to find these files over here, especially if they are in separate folders. So what you can do over here is press Ctrl P and you get this uh, input box over here. You can just type the name of your file and uh, press enter and you will be taken to that file we'll press ctrl p again and we'll go to the index.html file notice you can see that when i type ind we get this suggestion over here and if i press enter we'll be taken to that file so this makes file navigation much much easier now the next thing is the command palette visual studio code has a lot of features and commands and uh, sometimes it can become pretty hard for you to uh, browse through these menus and find where those commands are so what you can do is open the command palette so just press ctrl shift and p here you can see all the commands uh, in visual studio code listed here so if you want to create a new file just go over here and type new and press enter and here we can create a new file if you want if you search for git we can see all the git commands over here so almost all the commands in visual studio code are displayed over here so this is an easier way to perform different tasks in visual studio code now the next tip is that vs code already has an integrated terminal so if you are working with visual studio code you don't need to have another terminal opened over here you can do that within visual studio code to open the terminal you can go ahead and uh, drag from down here and uh, you get this terminal or if you want you can also press ctrl and the tick sign and you'll get this uh, terminal opened over here now there are many things you can do with the terminal you can go ahead and change this terminal so right now i have set the terminal to git bash by default it may be in powershell or something like that so here you can go ahead and create new instance of a terminal so this is a different terminal and this is a different terminal you can also go ahead and uh, split the terminal so that you can see two different terminals on the screen so you can type a different command over here and over here you can type a completely different command so this can be really helpful for you if you are building apps with um, technologies like node.js where you have to type a lot of commands now the next tip is emit Emmet is a popular tool for web developers. It has shortcuts for different HTML elements and CSS uh, uh, properties. Now the best part about VS Code is that Emmet is already installed by default in VS Code. So you don't have to install any package to use Emmet. 
I'll just show you one example of where emit can be really useful. If you are beginning with an HTML file, just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 boilerplate. So this can take some time for you to write but just by pressing two keys on your keyboard you get this whole lines of code. I have a separate video explaining different things about Emmet. You can go ahead and watch that. I will leave the link in the description. Now the next tip is uh, displaying code suggestions. Now this uh, many of you might be knowing about this tip but uh, just for the new developers I just want to mention it here. So if you type something like document and press dot you can see all the code suggestions for it is displayed over here and uh, if you type something like get element and if somehow this code suggestion disappears like if you click somewhere else now if you press backspace you cannot get the code suggestions so you have to go all the way up over here and uh, press dot again so i'll just show you what you can do if you want to get back the code suggestions so let me just click over here and uh, now if you want to get the code suggestions just press ctrl and space and you'll get all the code suggestions now the next tip is to delete the current line of code so if you are here and you want to delete this line of code what you will normally do is select this whole line of code and delete it or what you can do is go over here and press backspace and uh, you can delete this line of code but an even easier way to delete a line of code is just go over to the line and press ctrl x so if you go ahead and click on this line of code and press ctrl x we can delete that line of code now the next tip is expanding and shrinking your selection so if you are over here and uh, you want to select this whole for loop what you can do is press shift and alt and press the right arrow we see that it selects the hello world first and if you press ctrl alt right arrow again we can see that it selects this whole parenthesis and if you press shift alt and right arrow we can see it expands the selection now here we can see we have selected the whole for loop and if you press shift alt right arrow again we can see this whole for loop is selected and if you keep pressing shift alt and right arrow we can expand our selection one by one and to shrink the selection just press shift alt and left arrow and uh, you can shrink your selection now the next tip is to move a line of code up or down so if you want to move this line of code above our for loop what you can do is press alt and press the up arrow and we have successfully moved our code one line up we can do this many times if you want and uh, you may notice that it keeps the indentation right so this can also save you a lot of time now the next tip is to duplicate the current line of code so if you want to duplicate this line of code what you have to do is just click on that line and uh, press shift alt and the down arrow and the line will be duplicated below it and if you want to duplicate it above the line of code just press shift alt and up arrow and uh, you can duplicate it now the next tip is multiple cursors so if you want to have multiple cursors and you want to make changes in multiple places at once what you can do is um, press alt and start clicking wherever you want for example let's change this to var i and this to var j so what we'll do is press alt and click over here click over here here and all the places where you want the changes to be made and just start typing so i will type var and we can see that the changes has been made in all the places now there's one more thing you can do with multiple cursors so we'll go ahead and uh, create an unordered list so here i have an unordered list and i have six list items and suppose now i just realized that i wanted to add a class called main item to all these list items so what i would normally do would be go over here and type class and uh, type main item and then copy this and paste it everywhere but using visual studio code you can use multiple cursors and uh, here you can also use multiple cursors by pressing alt and clicking over here but there's an easier way if you have everything in a straight line so just go ahead and uh, click after the first li before uh, this closing 
angle brackets and uh, press shift alt and uh, click on the last one and we can see we have multiple cursors between all those lines now we can just go ahead and uh, start typing so we'll type class main item and in this way you can use multiple cursors in vs code now the next tip is the zen mode now if you want to code without any distractions all you have to do is press ctrl k and z and you will be taken to this zen mode where you don't have anything on the screen but your code and you can also access your file browser by pressing ctrl b and you can access your quick file navigation and also the command palette so you can just start coding over here without any distractions using the zen mode if you want to get out of the zen mode just press escape and uh, you will be out of it now the next tip is selecting multiple instances of a word so if you want to change three of these classes to ids just go ahead and click over here press ctrl d and the first one will be selected and press ctrl d again the second one will also be selected press ctrl d again and uh, we'll have the three of these selected we can just go ahead and type id and the three of them will be replaced now if you want to select the next instance of a word just go ahead and uh, first of all select the word by pressing ctrl d and then press ctrl k and d and you will select the next instance of the word press ctrl k and d and uh, so on and you will select the next instance of the word this can feel like a really useless feature but if you are working with a large file this feature can help you a lot now the next tip is that if you want to select all the instances of a word just go ahead and uh, click on the word and press ctrl shift l and we can see all the class instances have been selected and uh, we can just start typing and change it to whatever we want now the next tip is a shortcut for folding and unfolding code so if you go to this left side over here you can see we have this button where you can unfold our uh, code so if i click on this we can see the ul has been folded and uh, if you click on it again we can unfold it and the same goes with all the other uh, tags over here so we have a shortcut for folding our code just press ctrl shift and uh, the left square bracket and this whole section will be folded and to unfold it just press ctrl shift and the right square bracket you can do this with different sections of the code so if i want to fold the head section just go ahead and click somewhere in head and uh, press ctrl shift left square bracket and right square bracket to unfold it now the next tip is to fold everything in your file so if you want to fold everything just press ctrl k and ctrl 0 and all the code will be folded and if i want to unfold everything just press ctrl k and ctrl j now the next shortcut is to create a comment so if you want to create a comment over here just press ctrl and uh, forward slash and you can type something over here and it will be commented now if i want to comment some existing line of code you can just click wherever you want and press ctrl forward slash and that line of code will be commented now if you want to comment multiple lines of code just select everything and press ctrl forward slash and the whole selection will be commented now you can use this comment feature with different languages if you go to the main.js file and if i want to comment this line of code we can see we get this two forward slashes which is used in uh, javascript to comment a line of code now the next tip is to select a line of code so if you want to select this line of code just click somewhere on the line and press ctrl i and the whole line of code will be selected if you want to select the next lines of code just keep pressing ctrl i and you can select multiple lines of code now the last tip is to split your editor so if you want to split your editor and you want to see two files at the same time what you can do is press ctrl backslash you can see two editors over here and you can select different files on different editors if i click over here and uh, if i open main.js we can see that main.js has been opened over here and we have about.html opened on the left side we can keep splitting the editor by just pressing ctrl backslash and to focus on different editors what you can do is press ctrl and 1 to focus on the first editor ctrl 2 to focus on the second one 3 for the third one and so on 
so that's it for this video apply these tips and shortcuts in your development and uh, you can increase your productivity to a great extent so if you have liked this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below thanks a lot for watching have a nice day